Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about the NEAR protocol. Yeah, I've been asked a lot of times now to provide an update because the price has been moving higher. Yeah, and I mean, all I can do on this channel is to talk about these opportunities and to let you know where we have an opportunity. Uh, I can't be there 24 hours. Yeah, and I can't watch the charts 24 hours. But if I can make you aware of an opportunity that there is a chance for another breakout, that is pretty much all I can do, but hopefully that creates some value um, because the last near update has been a few weeks back. I'd like to just go back briefly and uh, play what I talked about back then. And then we can take a look at the updated chart days in a possible uptrend, but we can count this bullish. Uh, in fact, we've even reached the target. I think I mentioned in the, in the last video, at least I have highlighted it here at the as a resistance level, the last wave below here at 467. From here, we can move higher to $5.11 if we... Okay, we are currently exactly at $5.11, by the way, when I make, when I make the video. Um, so in the video before that, actually, we talked about the target of 463 that was reached. In this video then, that I made last time, I highlight the $5.11 level. That is exactly where we are now. I also put on the chart this Elliott wave count here that we have only completed a wave one and we are now in a wave two pullback because if you look at this, yeah, we have not yet reached the target, what you would expect for a wave three in yellow. So if we look at the wave one here, you can see the target would have to be 550. <laughs> now we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We have only reached the 455 level. So, Okay, so you can see we put the bullish wave count on the chart. That is what you would reasonably expect after creating the first waves. Yeah, what, whatever we could count in that video on the chart uh, looked bullish and we followed this path very, very nicely. We have to make a few changes to the chart now, but overall it is still all going very nicely in line with the bullish scenario. We broke out to this $5.11 level. You can see exactly, well, it's two weeks basically after the last video, we have reached this area very nicely. Uh, again, one more chart that is following here very nicely, my forecast and the Elliott wave count at the moment. Now, this of course doesn't always work out, yeah? Of course, also I make mistakes, but to be honest, these coins currently, most of them very, very nicely adhere to the um, Elliott wave counts that I put out before and that I made you aware of. So what do we now need to do? So in the last video, I actually already mentioned that it could very well be um, that we are here in a wave two pullback. That happened, yeah, that happened. What didn't work out was that we pushed higher here. So what we have to just relabel this as a five wave move, one, two, three, four, five, complete here. We then pulled back in a three wave move, ABC. So basically what we saw here was the completion of a wave one. So you had here you, your higher level wave one, your higher level wave two, being in the wave three, but within the wave three, we created another wave one, as I mentioned already in the last video, and the wave two. And now we're moving up in the wave three. So basically the wave three of the wave three. So this wave three in yellow, the higher level one needs to move higher. The target will now have to go up. Now that we reach the $5.11 level, now that we have a bit more clarity of the chart structure here, one, two, one, two, means that we are now in the wave three in white. At least we can assume that as long as we hold above 357 below, uh, as long as we hold this level here, uh, wave three. Where would be the target for this white wave three or have we actually already reached it with that $5.11 level that I mentioned in the previous video? I don't think, I think it needs to go a bit higher. Yes, it would need to go actually considerably higher. Well, the first target, the first target for a wave three is the one to one extension. So you can see that's exactly here where we already got to today to 529. Um, so theoretically, we could say maybe the wave three was already in, maybe. Um, however, it would be difficult. We could count it as a one, two, that the three, that would be a four down and a five up. Absolutely possible. It's a bit too short for a wave three, but in an extended wave pattern that we see here, it's possible that this could already be the peak of the wave three. Then in any pullback, we need to stay above 478. 
very very important yeah that would be best now to stay above this level um, to continue the bullish wave count as soon as possible we would then assume unless we go higher immediately yeah but if we retrace a little bit we would say that this is probably the wave four it needs to stay as i said above 477 or 476 to make this imminent wave count work and then we would move up in a wave five um yeah scenario and what would be the target then for this yellow wave three now we can take a look at that and da -da -da -da. Because it's an extended wave, we need to look here at something around the two point, yeah, the two point three eight two fib level, which is at six sixty six, okay, roughly, maybe even higher, and then we would come down in a four and move up in a five. So, what is going on here? So at the moment, it's all working nicely. I think there will be a bit of a pullback, maybe now in a wave four, and then continuation in this wave pattern as long as we hold the four seventy seven level. Um, that's sort of the next key support to hold. If we lose this, we need to hold at least the 357 level here, 356. That is the wave too low. If we go below that, I think then the bullish scenario is not working out really. Yeah, then there that would put a challenge to the imminent bullish scenario. But for now, we can follow it. Yeah, for now we can follow it. A next uh, key resistance. What is it? So obviously here the the previous high at 529 is resistance then here the 5.11 level that is where we basically just were i'll increase that now to 529 um that is the next resistance and then we have next resistance here at the wave e high that's a very important level of that triangle that is at 576 keep an eye on that level and then if we move higher very relevant the wave c high at 650 yeah 657 and uh, i think these are the next targets and then we are pretty much there at the wave three high anyway here we then expect a pullback in a wave four and a move up in a wave five when this five wave impulse is complete then we are going to see here probably a larger abc correction down and that would then be another accumulation opportunity okay and here as well with the near protocol similar to what i say for bitcoin and eth as well i would give it a 60 percent probability at the moment that we have already seen the low it is currently not possible to assign a higher probability the reason is i can only really justify to increase the probability for the bullish scenario if we have seen here the five waves complete and then the three waves down making a higher low and that is when we could increase that probability all right that's currently my view about the near protocol hopefully that was useful hope you liked it if you did please hit the like button leave a comment subscribe and also check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye